we see this cell heading into Nassau County. It has weakened over the last few minutes, and this will continue to push east across Long Island over the next few hours. Now, these thunderstorms are also extending down the shore in Jersey as well. Now, these showers and thunderstorms have been moving through the area since early this morning and will continue through about 10 p.m. tonight. So like I said, we are tracking those showers. We see some in Nassau County, southern Suffolk County, out into the city, northern Jersey, and even down the shore in New Jersey as well. These will likely weaken over the next few hours, and some areas may see a sprinkle or two through the overnight, but I think most of us will likely remain dry. Now, checking in on that satellite and radar, you can see some thunderstorms and showers well off to our north in the capital region, but nothing that will affect our area later tonight. You see our area is looking nice and clear, and that's because of this high pressure that we have to our northeast. Now, Tropical Storm Erin has winds right now about 50 miles per hour, but it is continuing to strengthen. Right now, it's on a westward track, and it'll strengthen into a hurricane by early Friday morning. And then as it takes a more northwesterly turn, it'll turn into a major hurricane category three as we head into early next week. Also, if you notice, this high pressure is spinning in a clockwise direction, bringing us those easterly winds off the water, bringing our coastal areas down by just a few degrees. Currently, there's a severe thunderstorm warning for Queens and for Brooklyn and Queens out on Long Island, extending into Nassau County and also for Monmouth County in New Jersey. Now, looking at that satellite and radar, we can see the cell here over the city is producing tons of lightning at the moment, and this extends down into New Jersey and even into western Pennsylvania or eastern Pennsylvania as well. We're also tracking two more areas of interest in the tropics. Right here, we have a tropical wave which has moved off of the coast of the African continent. So it is a disorganized area of showers and thunderstorms. Now this is likely to develop within the next seven days, so nothing major right now. We're just watching it through the next week. So the other area of interest is right here in the southeastern United States. So this is another area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms, which may develop within the next seven days. However, even if it doesn't develop into a tropical storm, it could still bring heavy rain and rough surf to parts of the southeast. Now checking on that forecast, we can see this line of showers and thunderstorms in the area right now, and it'll continue to push east and weaken over the next few hours. Now overnight, we still see the chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm, but overall, I think most of us will likely remain dry. Now this cold front will drop into the area early tomorrow morning, and it'll linger, and that'll give us the opportunity for some afternoon showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. But tomorrow morning, we're going to see a mix of sun and clouds before those showers and thunderstorms develop later in the day. Now this cold front will drop east off of Long Island into the ocean as we head into early Friday morning and then we'll clear up for the day on Friday, potentially seeing a mix of sun and clouds and then we'll clear up for the weekend. Now our winds are out of the east right now, pushing cooler air off of the water. So some of our coastal locations are feeling this quite a bit with those temperatures being just a few degrees colder than some of our spots further inland. In these areas like northern Jersey, lower Hudson Valley and into western Connecticut, that's where those showers have passed through. So these spots have been these spots have cooled off quite a bit and that's shown well in this 24 hour temperature change map. Most of these spots have cooled off by about roughly 10 degrees. So we're 13 degrees colder in Newark and 14, 14 degrees colder in Poughkeepsie than this time yesterday. Now checking in on that forecast, you can see we're clear through the evening today and the overnight. So we're going to have nice clear skies and this will lead into tomorrow as well, bringing us tons of blue skies and sunshine for the day on Friday. Now as we head into Friday night, early Saturday morning, we see some clouds start to to work back into the area, potentially giving us a mixed sky for Saturday. But overall, the forecast is looking nice and quiet. Now, looking at that beach and boating forecast, we see winds are out of the east, five to 15 knots, ocean three to five feet. The sound's going to be one foot or less. Now, the UV index is a bit lower than days past, we're at a seven, but don't forget to wear that sunscreen. And then our water temperature is going to be 74 degrees. Well, today was another gorgeous day here in the tri state, adding on to that nice stretch of weather that we've seen the past few days and then we'll continue to see through the weekend. Back to today, we had a high of 81 in the city and a low of 64. That's just a few degrees below average, but nothing major. We recorded a record high of 104 degrees way back in 1918 and a record low of 57 back in 1994. We've begun to see the smoke push off to our west early this morning and into the afternoon. We have easterly winds pushing the smoke away from us and allowing us to clear up as we head into the afternoon and evening. And then by the time we get to tomorrow morning, the smoke, we're pretty much in the clear because the smoke has pushed all the way off to our west. 
tonight. We're going to be in the mid 60s in most spots in the suburbs, maybe even dipping down to the upper 50s. We're going to be clear through the overnight and nice and mild as well. We see most spots like northern Jersey, lower Hudson Valley and through Connecticut in those low 80s. We were 81 in Sussex and 80 in White Plains, but out on Long Island, we're at 79 Islip and 75 in East Hampton. Now, as we head into the weekend, we see tons of sunshine for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but those temperatures do start to creep up as we head into Sunday and, and Monday for the beginning of next week. We're back up into the 90s, and if you notice, those overnight temperatures are getting higher as well, so it's going to feel much more uncomfortable outside, and those dew points continue to increase as we head into the mid next week as well, making the air mass more humid and more uncomfortable. Now looking at our seven day, we see that gorgeous stretch of weather ahead. Total sunshine as we head into Sunday. Those temperatures do start to take an increase though. We're up to 89 by Sunday, back into the 90s for Monday. If we have three days in the 90s next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, that gives us our third heat wave of the season. And then again, our shower chances come back into the forecast for Tuesday and Wednesday.